The house or oikos was a residence for Greek families and their slaves. Contrary to modern houses, which look outward, the Greek household was built to look inward on a courtyard. The courtyard was the house's central fixture. It was the building's main source of daylight and also the location of religious altars dedicated to worship. The inner courtyard was the nexus of the house. Functionally, it allowed air to circulate and also provided access to most of the rooms. It also sometimes housed a well or a cistern that collected rainwater. In the center of the courtyard was an altar to Zeus Herceos, who served as the protector of the household. Greeks had no qualms about combining their work and their private lives, and many of them worked from home. Artisans like blacksmiths, sculptors and potters often had workshops in their houses. Some even operated small stores to sell their work. Similarly, doctors were known to treat patients in special offices located in their homes. Women also worked in the house and were responsible for making textiles, as well as producing clothes and supervising weaving, which was carried out by slaves. If a household was wealthy enough, they could even produce a surplus of textiles to sell in times of financial difficulty. The Pyrgos or upper stories was the woman's quarter of the house, where they could pursue their activities and observe the city without being seen themselves. The rooftops were also used in a special rite called the Adonia, a private celebration held in honor of Adonis, which was reserved for women. Symposia were major social institutions in Greece. They were drinking parties held exclusively for men. The party took place in the men's section of the house, the Andron, where residents and guests reclined on special couches called klinai. Food was served on low tables set in front of the couches while wine was placed in a crater in the center of the room. During a symposium, men drank, sang, had philosophical discussions and played games like kotabos. Greek homes had kitchens where the family's meals were prepared. The Greeks did not often eat meat except during special occasions like banquets or after sacrifices. They had a mainly grain-based diet, eating staples such as bread, porridge, or a barley cake called maza. They also occasionally ate poultry, fish, and other seafood, as well as fruits, vegetables, goat milk and cheese, and olive oil. Other cooking implements included braziers, mortars and pestles. Food was cooked on a tripod or sometimes in a klibanos, which was a sort of mobile oven. The family also used the kitchen to store food in containers called pitoi. The bathroom was located in the back of the house. Much like today, it was used for cleansing and washing. 
although the Greeks used chamber parts instead of toilets. Most bathrooms had a luterian that could be filled with water for washing. Mirrors, razors, strigils, and sponges could also be found in the bathroom.